Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another Madden 21 ratings preview. That's right, the running back ratings have dropped. So in today's video, I'm going to have the top 10 running backs and their ratings. I'm going to discuss uh, how I think that they should have been handled compared to how they were handled. Uh, and then I'm also going to go over the top five rookie running backs uh, because that actually came out as well today. So if you're a franchise guy and you're looking for the next big running back um, to work up uh, for your franchise, I'm going to go over the top five guys there as well. I'm going to start off with that because we can just get that out of the way. Uh, the number one rookie running back in this year's uh, draft class, according to Madden, according to EA, is actually uh, from the Baltimore Ravens, the number 55 pick, J.K. Dobbins. They gave him a 75 overall. That's the highest rated running back. He was not a first round pick. Um, he was actually almost a late second round pick, if you really want to think about it like that. Uh, but I mean, I'm not going to argue the talent. I mean, he was an amazing player. Uh, but without a doubt, I mean, Dobbins is a huge talent. So he's the number one one guy he also comes in clocking around a 91 speed 90 excel stuff like that matters uh moving on though number two number two is the first running back taken in clyde edwards hilaire now if that name sounds familiar uh you had an opportunity if you play mutt uh you had an opportunity to do a rookie premier card of his he was the 32nd overall pick he went to the chiefs but he's a 74 overall he's tied for second i can't say he was second because he's tied for second number three was deandre swift from the detroit lions uh, he was once again he was almost a first round pick it was the 35th pick they have him as a 74 overall also a really talented player uh now the fourth guy we have uh, was drafted high in the second round once again by the colts number 41 jonathan taylor he has a 73 overall and then tied once again uh for for third or fourth however you want to look at it uh is uh, cam Akers. he was drafted by the los angeles rams at uh, number 52 and that's i mean if you're going to take the rams since they just lost todd Gurley, you're going to need a, a good young running back and they have that they have two good young running backs they drafted one in the second round last year as well so moving on like i said we're going to go over the top 10 running backs uh in their uh their rankings their uh their overalls uh number one is christian mccaffrey i reported in yesterday's video that he is a 99 overall it was leaked out that he was a 99 overall player uh which i 100 percent agree with i was thinking you know months ago i was like christian mccaffrey it should be a 99 overall player this year because of what he's doing not just in the running game but in the receiving game as well. He's changing the way uh, running backs are viewed in the NFL. You have to be a receiver now. I mean, he's almost like Wes Welker as a receiver. And <laughs> I mean, he's just like, he, he has such, I mean, to be a 99 overall as a running back, receiving is definitely an important attribute. I mean, he's definitely a superstar now without a doubt. I mean, I'm pretty sure he signed one of the richest contracts in NFL history for a running back at this point too, uh, which, you know, all those things really factor into it. The sizzle factor is definitely there. So McCaffrey at a 99, I'm not arguing. I mean, the guy's catching a thousand yards as well as rushing a thousand yards he's never coming off the field if you played him in fantasy last year the guy doesn't miss a snap i mean that's really rare for running backs today i mean you're going to see some committee running backs here going forward i'm gonna as i go down this list he's not even a committee running back he's he's breaking the mold there he's on the field he's basically the entire offense for the panthers throughout the entire game the guy is amazing now moving on though I think there's some guys on this list that are just as amazing or just came off of amazing seasons and should get some more respect than they did considering the number two running back is Derrick Henry. You could easily say that the, the, the postseason and the season that he had last year, Derrick Henry could be the number one running back in this on this board, and nobody would argue. I mean, the guy carried the Titans on his back. I mean, there was games where Tannehill barely threw a pass, and he was just running over. They could have 11 guys in the box, and he's just running them over. I mean, the guy the guy looked like Bo Jackson in the old Tecmo Bowl games. I mean, he was just 11-on-1 on and just carrying that team. You're telling me that doesn't deserve higher? rating than a 93 i mean i'm not going to say you know like i said he's the number two back that's definitely respectable but he is not six points worse than than mccaffrey unless you're trying to say six points worse because he can't catch the ball as well as mccaffrey which that's not the entire game derrick henry, henry led the league in rushing last year he even threw for a touchdown in the playoffs because he was so overpowered i feel like that overpowered feeling should continue in the game number three i really like this guy nick chubb i mean he's 
also very dominant. I mean, he had some bad moments last year, like that Patriots game. He fumbled the ball a couple times and basically just blew the game out for for the Patriots before it even started. But that aside, I mean, the guy he's 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 kind of like Derrick Henry light. And I'm not gonna you know he catches the ball I think a little bit better than Derrick Henry, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but ultimately, I don't think that there's a point. Uh, which is basically what they're trying to say here. They got Derek. They got Nick Chubb as a, as a 92 overall. I don't think that him and Derrick Henry are only a point difference. Um, I don't necessarily have an issue with Nick Chubb being third, but some of the running backs that I have here, I mean, I, I kind of do have an issue with it. I'm going to go over that here in a minute. Nick Chubb is an outstanding player. He is a, a really bright future. He's a great player, but I don't think that he should be ahead of, at this point in his career, ahead of uh, Saquon Barkley, Number one, I think number I said in yesterday's video, and I'll put links in the description for all these videos. So if you're just catching on to this, you can go down in the description and you can watch all the player ratings and my takes on all the player ratings, top tens, uh, position by position. But my take on uh, yesterday, I said that I think that Saquon Barkley could be a 99 overall and nobody would cry about it because that guy is that amazing of a talent. I mean, he is unreal. And as far as catching the ball goes, he's well ahead of all these running backs with the exception of probably Christian McCaffrey. He's got an amazing hands. I mean, didn't he catch like 100 balls his rookie year or something like that? He he should be the number two, if not the number one running back on this board, in my opinion. I think that, I mean, like I said, if he was a 99, nobody would cry. So Saquon Barkley here is getting robbed a little bit. But I also skipped a guy that I think is getting robbed a little bit by Ezekiel Elliott. Now, Ezekiel Elliott, I'm pretty sure that he, the last two full seasons, not last year, but the last two full seasons, actually, you can you can say pretty much every time he's had a full season because he skipped uh, most of training camp last year in a contract dispute. So you can say that whenever he's had a full off season. And in a full season, he has led the league in rushing every time. So Ezekiel Elliott coming in so low behind Nick Chubb. He's tied with Nick Chubb. They're both rated at 92. Christian McCaffrey, uh, Derrick Henry, Ezekiel Elliott, and Saquon Barkley, to me, are the top four running backs. Uh, really no argument. So I don't necessarily agree with that. But uh, but that's the list. So if there was any running backs that I would say that I would like to have on here that aren't on here, I mean, there's so many great running backs in the league. But the one that stands out the most is probably Chris Carson uh, off of the Seahawks. I mean, that's he he's been he was one of the you know when he got hurt last year, their offense kind of tanked for a little while, and they really struggled. I mean, the Eagles game, they really didn't get much of any offense going on in that game. Uh, and if they would have had him, it probably would have been a different story in the in the playoff game. So to me, I think he should be in the top ten. He's been consistent enough i would probably replace josh jacobs with him if you have somebody that you think uh should be on this list that wasn't or you know whatever your thoughts are on this who you think should be higher or lower let me know in the comment section other than that that's the end of the video thanks for watching man money shut out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below